Hi friends, welcome back. It is so good to see you as always. This was on Saturday. It was a rainy, dreary day. My husband told me to make a list of things that needed to be done and he would work on those. And the first thing was to get this blind put up in the kitchen so the creepy neighbor, the peeping Tom, won't be looking in at me <laughs> at night time through these windows anymore. But we're going to get into the sad part of this video soon enough. But I also had this light fixture on the list. So he put that up for me and replaced the bulbs. Hung the mirror above the dresser. I still need to clean that and clean the dresser. And the best part was, is we needed to put up our new bed. <laughs> and that's the rug that I washed uh, in a couple videos back, if you happen to catch that video. But I was so excited to get the bed put up finally. Hi friends, it's Saturday for me. And this is day six of being in the new house. I am pooped. I'm so tired. It's about four o'clock right now and we've been working on different projects and unpacking, cleaning, doing all kinds of things today. Um, I am going to get the bed made up, which I'm super thankful to have the bed in place. Nectar sent us a new bed frame and this one is more heavy duty and it's metal instead of plastic pieces. So this bed should be more durable and we won't complain about how cheaply made the bed was because that bed it just kept breaking for no reason you would just sit on it to open up a dresser drawer and it would break but this one seems to be like it's going to be a whole lot better so i'm thankful for that i'm going to put well i'm going to have my husband put this picture which i think is super cute i'm going to put it above the bed back here i need to put up some curtains in the bedroom Put up curtains everywhere else too but after i get the curtains the picture hung the bed made and then on the dresser right here these handles have come off so that's on the to-do list to get those handles put back on too but then i just got to get clothes organized in here and everything and then the bedroom's gonna be coming together pretty good still a lot more to do but i do have this pretty quilt that i bought last year last summer from pioneer woman that i'll probably put on the bed at some point and then i have this pretty quilt which belonged to my mother-in-law i got it out of her storage building and i think it's super pretty but i'll probably put back on the same comforter that i had on the bed for now and then we'll worry about decorating later i have been making a little bit of progress in here as well it doesn't look like it, but I have. <laughs> um, I'm still looking for a kitchen table. Have not found it yet, but maybe we'll get one soon. Still no couch in the living room as well. I haven't even had time to sit down and research what kind of couch specifically that I'm looking for with the right measurements to even know where to start. So I got to make time to do that as well. The sun is shining now, but it has been stormy and gloomy. It's still super windy, but hey, the sun's come out to be with us for a little while today. It feels so good on my face. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Through the day to the evening, without shouting and screaming. Something new to me Alone without being lonely Getting back to the old me It's kinda nice to feel free I thought this was over Thought I could control it But if I speak the truth I ain't over you I was feeling sober Until you came up now 
want to see what this looks like. It's so pretty. I really don't care that it hasn't been washed. I would literally sleep in the floor with a dirty blanket at this point and love it. When you've lost it That's just how it goes I'm still feeling lonely Can't get back to the old me I'm stuck in way too deep I thought this was over Thought I could control it But if I speak the truth Ain't over you It is not very big to be a king. That's what's checked on there. This come from Ollie's for $9.99. There's another one too that she had in her storage building. This blue one. I got them because I thought that we might need them to wrap like furniture and stuff up moving. But yeah, it's not very big for a king but it looks pretty on the bed i'm not gonna leave it that way but i'm just gonna enjoy it for now oh it's gonna feel so good oh, thank you lord it looks so cozy i am so thankful okay four curtains i'm trying to figure out what i want where I'm not going to buy anything new. I'm going to use what I have. So I've got these white ones and then I have these beige ones and there's a ladybug on there. Dude. Okay. It's not alive. Okay. Well, I've got the beige ones or I've got the white ones. I'm not going to buy anything new. I'm going to figure out what I want to go where. And I'm thinking I'm going to put the white ones in here to make it light and bright. And besides that, if I end up using this quilt, the white ones will look better with it. The rug in here that you've seen me scrub, it is beige. I don't know. Beige and white and gray. I love all the colors. They'll go together. Why is this lamp flickering? Maybe the bulb's loose. I need to tighten it up. It wasn't quite time to rest just yet, so I pushed myself to unpack at least one more tote. So I unpacked all of the food, and I got it in its proper place, and I got it somewhat organized. I'll have to come back and organize it a little bit better later, but for now, I was just happy to get this part done. Who am I that the maker of heaven wouldn't love me and know me by name? In a world where I feel like a stranger, his love came and found me the same. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep, everything I need is found in you. love that the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace in the midst of my pride and rebellion his love wouldn't give up the chase in each breath that I breathe when I wake or I sleep everything I need
had to keep moving stuff around till I got it somewhat the way that I want it. I'm sure that it will change and I'll organize it a little bit better later, but for now, I think this is going to be okay. Let me show you what I got. The sun is shining and bright, so hopefully you can see it okay. But on the top shelf, this is supposed to be like quick meals, snacks, and things. Obviously, we need to go to the grocery store, but that's what that shelf will be. This shelf is carbs, which is going to be bread, tortillas, you know, some sides, some rice, and then... Here's a bunch of canned things, beans, peas. I've got okra and green beans there. Bottom shelf is potatoes, onions, sweet potatoes, and more green beans. So I am happy with this for right now. These pantries, I've got salt, pepper, vinegar, baking stuff, sugar, and tea, and all of that. My lunch box is in the bottom, distilled water. From my husband's sleep apnea machine. This is not really that full. I kind of left this one for my husband uh, for storage. He still has the whole other side as well that he could use. And then on the other side, um, all of these cake mixes and stuff, they were given to me. So I just stored them over here with some extra steak sauce. But uh, I'm happy with that for right now. Now we just need some groceries to fill up the pantry a little bit more. Something just fell. Oh no. We've got a problem. It was my salt and vinegar. How do I get back in there to get it? Really? I'm gonna have to ask my husband for help. Oh no. I got the vinegar by sticking my hand back in there, but apparently, there's a lot more stuff back in there. I'm going to try to get it. Chips, anyone? Beans. the salt <laughs> but I think that's all that's in there um I need to find something to stick back in there to get it <sighs> that's so painful but I got it <laughs> I am gonna make over the pantry a little bit I'm either going to paint the pantry the color of the kitchen cabinets, but since I have white appliances and a white kitchen island, I could just give this a fresh coat of white paint. I've been meaning to do that for a while anyway. And then I have this, looks like wood, and it's the perfect size for right here. So I'm thinking I could put this there, and then we'll see what color I paint this. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do to this cabinet is I'm gonna put new handles on it instead of these knobs. It used to have a handle like that, as you can see, but we're gonna put those handles right there on it. And I think that will make it look a little bit better. Something just moved over there. My husband is forcing me to get rid of Boga. I gotta gather up his things.
You know how much I love him. <laughs> I'm having a terrible week. By the time that you see this, two weeks have passed by. I've been going to see Bubba every day. He is with his sister and the rest of the dog pack and he's happy when he's with his sister and just being wild and that's home for him. So I find comfort in that. And then I have been walking through the woods trying to get him to come up to mom's because mom said if he come up there, then um, she would keep him, <laughs> take care of him for me. So I've been trying to coach him to come up there, but it's just, um, it's been a very hard week. So today I decided that I would get myself together, but guess what else? This morning I was coming off of these stairs in my house shoes. And as soon as I hit this step, my foot slipped out from underneath me and somehow my body got twisted around and I went down the stairs backwards and hit my head really hard on the tile floor. Um, my head, I have, a, I have a little bit of a headache. You know, you would think that my head would be really sore with how hard that it hit, but it's only a little bit sore, but it has only been just, you know, a few hours but the back of my arm right here you I don't know if you'll be able to see it with my camera or not but this is definitely going to bruise it's already started to bruise a little bit on the back of my arm and then right here on the inside of my leg there's a big puff knot and that's really sore that was burning but the worst part is right here this oh Oh, it hurts. Oh, it's so swollen and it's already turning black, <laughs> but that part really hurts. I just laid in the floor and I just squalled and I was scared. I was like, my instant thought was, do I call 911? Am I able to call 911? But I laid there for a little bit and I was like, I, I think I'm going to be okay I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk. Have I broken anything? You know, because those spots that I showed you instantly just started burning and hurting. But praise God, I didn't break anything that I know of. Now, this foot over here, it's hard to put pressure on it, but I think I'm okay. I don't think that I got a concussion. So, you know, that was just uh, the start to my morning. It was not a good morning, but... I will tell you that despite all of my feelings of being broken, frustrated, resentful, hurt, broken hearted, all the things, I'm not going to let my emotions run me because when you are in a crisis or when you're going through a hard time, the way that you get through that is you cling to what you know. A crisis just essentially means that it's a situation that is out of your control, that it is, there's nothing that you can do. That's a crisis. So in the crisis, I'm going to cling to what I know. <laughs> and it's that my God is faithful. And the battle, it's not mine. The battle is the Lord's. So I'm handing the problem off to my Lord. I'm going to control my emotions, cling to what I know, hand the problem off to him, and I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him, and I'm going to give thanks to him in all circumstances. I'm going to thank him that, God, you will work this out, that you know what is best. God, I'm going to praise you. Even though the situation hasn't changed, I'm going to praise you because God is faithful. We're going to praise him. My heart is definitely still broken. But we're going to praise him. 
I don't have many updates on the house because I've not really been here. I've been at my parents for the last two days. But I did get this closet cleaned out. Let me just turn it around. This, if you've seen the home tour, it was packed full of like my home decor and stuff like that. So I put my mop bucket. I put this light in here, which I don't know why that's not lighting up. The batteries surely have not run dead that quickly. Surely not. I guess the batteries is already dead in that, which is strange because usually it lasts a whole lot longer. But I put the shelf in here and I put medical on it. The bottom one is empty. I'm going to end up putting like extra bathroom supplies, but I've got like extra mop head and vacuum cleaner tools and stuff like that in here. And I don't have anything touching the hot water heater, so don't worry about that. But I did get this closet cleaned out. Then I have also ran uh, a cup of bleach on the hottest water setting in the washing machine because that's what the internet Google said to do. And so it has improved the smell. So I'm just going to continue to do that. But you can still smell it. Like as soon as you walk in here, it's musty, kind of moldy like. So I'm just going to keep working at that. The internet also says you can do vinegar and baking soda. But I feel like bleach is probably just going to work the best. But so that's improved a little bit, but that's all of the updates. Let me show you what we're going to be working on today. This is a lot of my home decor that was in that closet. So this is what I want to work on today. Just kind of go through it, sort it, see if there's anything that I can get rid of. And I need to decorate the uh, table behind the kitchen table. And then when I get a kitchen table, I'll put a little bit of something on it. But this is what I'm going to focus on. Um, and then I want to decorate above the pantry. Still have to decorate these cabinet or these open shelves. Got to figure out what I'm going to put in my bookcase. Still, there is just so much more to do. I need to organize in the bedroom. Still need to organize the bathroom. I haven't even started on the upstairs yet. So we'll get to it one thing at a time, but we're going to focus on the dining room today.
tried to put these little sconces with flowers in them. I guess that's what you would call them on each side of this picture. They weren't terrible, but I didn't love them, so I decided to take them back down. All of these things right here will have to go back into the storage building. That was what I kept chicken feed and dog food in and then extra cannon jars and things. But everything just reminds me of Bubba right now, and I'm just really sad. And I'm sure you want to know the reason why. There's many reasons why that he gave me, but none of them justify my broken heart or make it any better for me. So I don't even know if I could just explain exactly why, but I have to keep on keeping on. And at least I got this much cleaned up. But here is another picture of the before. Had a lot, a lot of stuff. Very fortunate. A lot of this was my grandmother, so I thought about her a lot today. Okay, so here's our after. This is where we're at. I need to put these wreaths on the door, and then I will wipe this table down. But I may redecorate this wreath. I'm not sure. I got that when my mom passed away. And then over here, I got this one when my mother-in-law passed away. Which my mom says that's creepy to use those and put them up. But I just redecorate them. And then I've got some extra florals underneath there that I can decorate with. These are the things that I have decided to go ahead and part with. That little sign from Hobby Lobby. If you can be anything, be kind. I don't have anywhere to put that right now. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. And on this wall right here when you walk in the door, I'm either going to put the deer... Where I'm going to put pictures and this together we make family. Not sure yet. But we have made some improvement. Got a lot of things out of here. Obviously a lot more to do. I need to deep clean the blinds, the windows, the floors, all of that. And we need to finish decorating. But I don't feel so great today. So I think I'm going to lay down and rest for a little bit. And then we'll keep going another day. But I think I'm going to go ahead and say bye here and end the video. You know, I um, am still having trouble putting pressure on my legs, so I'm going to try to ice it. I debated on whether I was going to put the sad stuff in the video because I would never want to bring anybody down. But, you know, social media is really good about sharing the highlights, you know, just the good things. Nobody shares the hard times the behind the scenes and the things that, you know, happen, things that go on just because we're Christians. We're not the exception to hard times and definitely not the exception to suffering. So some way, somehow, God will get all the honor, the glory, and the praise. There will be a redemption story. So, you know, we just got to keep trusting him and hopefully, you know, it will encourage you to keep trusting God. Despite what your circumstances look like, keep praising him in the storm. Give him thanks in all circumstances. He's never going to fail us. He's never going to forsake us. But you guys keep fighting that good fight of faith. I love you. And the Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully it will be a whole lot more positive and happy. <laughs>